G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Well today I'm just going to do a quick little mirror for a guy I know and like called Skyfly Brian. Now he was a mod on the OMO um, extravaganza and he did a really really great job and he was pretty much all by himself there for a while. But he also let me know the other day that there's going to be a transit of Mercury. Now I hope that I can get out with the P900 and the solar filter tomorrow and catch it. I'll have to have a look and see when it is. Oh, Wolfie just informs me we won't be able to see the transit of Mercury from Brisbane or anywhere in Australia. There's a jolly big rock in the road. Sorry. You will see it from most parts of the world. Um, you won't see the whole transit from the UK as it starts at 12... 41 UK time, UTC time. But I hope all you guys can know about it and go and do something with it. Because I guess what, the flatties, they've got no idea what's going to happen. They've got no way of predicting it. But we do. Anyway, um, jump over to Skyfly Bry's channel and... Oh, and do you see what I see? His subs is just under a thousand. Well, I think we should be able to do something about that for poor Bry, don't you reckon, folks? Jump over to Skyfly Bry's channel and have a look at his video on it. It's very, very uh, in-depth. And the thing that I am really impressed with is the field rotation aspect of it. Now, I know Gary Wybanger knows all about field rotation, but I'm not talking about loosen this time and sorghum next planting. We're talking about how the thing rotates depending on your latitude. A little bit of a globe sign, don't you reckon, Gary? Yeah, just go and have a look at Bry's channel. It's excellent. And the guy can fly too. He's right up there with his what his name means. Hello, on the 11th of November 2019, a very rare transit of Mercury will pass the sun. You will see it from most parts of the world. Um, you won't see the whole transit from the UK as it starts at 12.41 UK time, UTC time on the 11th of the 11th 2019 it will last for a total of four hours and 31 minutes if it's not cloudy so most people should be able to see it if it's not cloudy uh the other parts of the world you can see the full duration of the eclipse uh, not the eclipse uh you can see the full duration of the transit uh which will last for a total of five hours and 21 minutes from other parts of the world now let's look at it. It starts here at the, roughly the 8.50 position, 9 o'clock if you want to call it that, and moves across the sun. Now you need a solar filter to view this and a telescope, a 4 inch telescope will be sufficient. Uh, you'll get the hold of the sun in with a 4 inch telescope, a P900 camera or even a 200mm lens on a DSLR camera will be sufficient. Let's speed the time up um, so it doesn't take too long. And we can see it go around. I'm going to pause the video soon because it goes out of view before it uh, goes off of the sun. Because in the UK, the sun will set at 16.12 um, on this day. I've slowed it down. There it is. That's the black line is the sunset. So it's sunset now. Now it's getting dark. It's twilight because we're 51 degrees north. Uh, let's look at it from the west of America, we we'll move west, um, gonna move west, I'm just watching the video, obviously the sun's rotating because we're moving in position on the earth, it's out of view now, you won't see it from there, oh back in view, you'll see it from there, so let's go down to uh, Rio de Janeiro uh, and we'll watch it from there, you get full, full coverage there, it's amazing, five hours and 21 minutes i'm not sure if it's five hours and 21 minutes from that location but it is the maximum you'll see the full uh rotation of it now it's coming up from the bottom there and from that location rio de janeiro um it's eight degrees south so the sun's slightly south of there so you're seeing it going up from the bottom about the seven o'clock position and then all of a sudden it will do a turn and go back south again. Now, Mercury is not moving in that orbit. This is the fact. You're actually viewing it from a spinning ball Earth. So the Earth is spinning. So as it gets to the point of where it gets to the top, which is very close now, the sun will appear to rotate 
Uh, now, as the sun does rotate, it takes 27 days to rotate. The sun rotates from left to right, very similar to the Earth. The reason the sun appears to rotate is because you're actually rotating on the Earth, watching it. And that's why it seems to go in the way it does. So the sun appears to rotate but it doesn't but you if you go out and film this and it's available to watch everyone can watch it uh subject to cloud cover you'll see the sun rotating and you'll see the little oh, i'm not going to say a shadow because it's not a shadow it's a blocking the light from the sun because it's in front of the sun so mercury the planet mercury is blocking the light from the sun you will need a solar filter to physically see it you won't see it with your own eyes and do not look at the sun with your eyes uh, especially midday <laughs> it's not good for you anyway so the sun's centered in the picture now and mercury is moving um, in the program I've got the sun centered so imagine everyone is going to set the telescope up to film this in the same way so they keep the sun in the middle and track the sun because obviously the earth's spinning so you have to track the sun uh, so you keep it in the center of the picture and this is what I'm doing now. In a moment, I'll show you uh, tracking Mercury separately uh, so we can see how the sun appears to move differently. But the reality is it's not moving as we see it in a moment. The fact is we are living on a sphere which is spinning and the sun is in the center and Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. Mercury looks very small. It looks smaller than the moon, but the fact is the moon is actually smaller than Mercury. The reason the moon looks bigger than Mercury is because it's closer than Mercury. So you're not going to see this with your eyes. You need a telescope or a P900, P1000 camera to physically see this. Um, and this is how you can test it. You know, people like Dow from Beyond the Imaginary Curve say so how can you look at light seas in the sky to discover the shape of the earth well this is how Dow. you know you just got to get out your shed mate and stop dreaming stop doing two hour videos every saturday night saying the earth's flat the earth's flat it's de water's demonstrably level we know that we know that we know the principles of water or the properties of water you don't know nothing Dow. you are a sad case you need to get out your shed do some study look at the planets and the stars and realize that what we live on is a spinning ball earth anyway i didn't want to go on the flat earth path sorry about that bit of a <laughs> bit of a shell anyway that's what i'll do now i'll show you the same location the same times but we are now put um mercury in the center of the picture so you can see how it moves differently and this is the great thing about this program you know this would take years of uh, photography if you've done it in real time uh, obviously if you've done this in real time it would take millenniums because this is a very rare occasion mercury transiting the sun uh, uh, you know obviously the sun's up every day you can film it um well that's not true actually because the south pole you only get one sunset and one sunrise and the same is true at the north pole so if they say how long is a day at the south pole technically it's six months and the same is true of the north pole but this is a clear demonstration of the earth spinning see how it spun round amazing 